You're welcome here, Holy Spirit, come, oh, come, oh, come, come on in the Holy Spirit, come, come on in the room, fill this place with your glory, fill this place with your glory. Come on in the room, Holy Spirit, fill this place with your glory. Hey, God bless you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Greetings. I greet you with Jesus joy blessings to everyone in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ thank you for coming on into this war room let's go let's go blessings to you elder David I see you out there Antoinette blessings to you first lady as always pleasure as always my sun and moon blessings to Stodger mother Millie God bless you pray that everyone had an amazing day Glory to God, you got out, you did some things, you you uh, you uh ticked some things off, you moving the needle, so to speak. Glory to God, you got some things accomplished. Amen, hallelujah. How many of you got some things accomplished today? Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Constance, Andre, blessings to you. This is Tamika, let's go, Tamika. Holy Spirit, come on in the room. There it is. Send those hearts up to heaven. Hallelujah. Bobby Word, what's going on? What's the word, Bobby Word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come on. Come in the room. Holy Spirit, come, come in the room, God is good, that's it, hallelujah, blessings to everyone, God bless you, this is day, what, 45, all right, 45, day 45, this is day 45, my God, we got it. We've been in here four to five days. We have a few more days to go before Pentecost explodes. Hallelujah. Come on in the room. Holy Spirit, come. Come on in the room. How many of you all day you have been in a posture of worship and prayer? All day you have been thinking about the goodness of the Lord. You have been posturing yourself with worship and praying and anticipating this 7 p.m. war room experience. Hallelujah. Blessings to everyone. Glory to God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. While we're saying, saying let's go, let's send a shout out to everyone on this on this war room. Just tell everyone hello, welcome to the war room. Just just type in those comments, welcome to the war room. Yeah, with faith grants you access. Welcome to the war room. How you feeling, Antoinette? Good to see you. Welcome to the war room. Where faith grants you access. The presence of God. 
Ah, welcome to the war room. Area Hall, what's going on with you, Area? How you doing, woman of faith? Good to see you. Welcome to the war room. Hallelujah. Well, faith grants you access. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome to the war room. That's it, welcome to the war room. Glory to God, hallelujah. I'm excited as always. I'm encouraged as always. Welcome to the war room, hallelujah. Faith is your ticket, hallelujah. Blessings, 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 let us pray. Father, we honor you, we bless you, we, we adore you. You are God that sits on that sits high and looks low. You are that God that created the heavens and the earth. You are the God that commands the winds and the waves to obey. You are that God. You are the only and true and living God. Besides you, there is no other. You are the God of love. You are the God of grace and mercy. We honor you. We adore you. Father God, we magnify your holy and righteous name. We thank you, God, for life. We thank you for protection. We thank you, God, for that we're in our right minds. We thank you for health. We thank you for the love that you shot abroad us every day father i pray in the name of jesus oh god that this is day 45 hallelujah and god you have been so kind to us you have been so kind to us that you have met us here every single day that you have declared some things you have prophesied some things over our lives and you have given us teachings of your word and bring insight and revelation God let this day be like no other that we seek to go higher and higher in you Father I pray in the name of Jesus that the presence of the Lord would just rest in this room with their rest in the rooms of those that are connected in their homes in their cars wherever they're watching oh God I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would just rest right there, would just come in and descend like a dove. Hey! Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you speak to us, you teach us as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Come on, shout amen, send up those hearts to heaven. Come on in the room, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, come on in, blessings to you, James Collins, good to see you, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. I just feel the presence of the Lord. Blessings to you, Janice Baker. Good to see you on this live with us, Janice. Quentin Turner, good to see you, Quint. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When the day of Pentecost, that's what we're believing God for on June 5th is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday is June 5th. This Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. And we are excited. We are stoked. We are pumped up. We are fired up and ready to go. We are fired up, we are pumped up, we are stoked, we are ready to go, we are ready to step on into Pentecost Sunday, June 5th. We are excited, we just cannot wait. 
we are we we just know God is gonna do something amazing. We don't know what, but we are just believing God is gonna show up in a supernatural way. I'm believing that. I'm believing that for your house. I'm believing that for you individually. I'm believing that for us collectively as a church, as a body of Christ, that God is gonna do something exceptional in the house of God on June 5th. Now, hear what I'm about to say, not only for purpose life, but I'm talking about that it's going to reverberate throughout the kingdom of God. That what's going to happen, glory to God, hallelujah, that what's going to happen on, in, in, on June 5th in purpose life, that it's going to shape the kingdom. Glory to God, hallelujah. I said that it's going to shape the kingdom. That is not just central for purpose life, but I believe that purpose life is the rally point. Hey, I said, I believe that purpose life has been de designated by God as the rally point that God is going to do something significant in, in, in the house of God and that it will have the ripple effects throughout the kingdom. Hear what I'm telling you. I believe that. I believe that. I truly believe that. I truly believe that, that God has chosen purpose life as the rally point. Hey, God, that the Holy Spirit will come in like a mighty rushing wind that will have the ripple effects throughout the kingdom. That with that God, glory to God, that God has found a remnant of people. God has found a remnant of people, glory to God, that have been committed to this war room for 45 days, for 50 days, and this has been designated by the kingdom of heaven as the rally point. Hey, glory to God. Do you not know that what the upper room was? The upper room was a rally point. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to give you scriptures in a minute. But the Holy Spirit was a rally point. It was a place where the disciples, where the apostles often went to to pray. So them being in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, it was a known place to go and meet. Oh my God, oh my God. You have to understand this here. The upper room was just not just for the, the day of Pentecost, but the upper room was a known place where the prophets and where the men and women of God will often meet. Come on now. And so I believe that on June 5th that Purpose Life is the rally point. It is the designated place. It is the airport by which the Holy Spirit is going to come in and lift us off and take us to our destiny. And it's not only for the house of God and for Purpose Life, but it's going to have the ripple effects throughout the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. How many of you believe in that with me? How many of you believe in that with me? That what's happening, glory to God, hallelujah, that what happens in Purpose Life on June 5th is going to have the ripple effect. Glory to God. Glory to God. How many of you ever heard about do uh, how many of you ever heard about Azusa Street? The Azusa Street uh, experience. What happened on Azusa Street? How many of you have heard about Azusa Street? What happened on Azusa Street? And so what happened on Azusa Street, there was there, it was it was the, the body of Christ was together. It was a church setting that they all came together. Glory to God. And they all came together, believe in God, and the Holy Spirit came in, and miracles, signs, and wonder took place. And it had the ripple effects throughout the whole church. It had the ripple effects throughout the whole kingdom. What happened on Azusa Street? Hey, and I believe, I believe that this is going to be an, an Azusa Street experience. Oh my God. I need somebody to understand what I'm talking about. What happened in Azusa Street. Thank you, Mother. What happened on Azusa Street that the Holy Spirit came in. Miracle signs and wonder took place. And the gospel, the every glory to God, the kingdom of God was affected throughout the whole world. Oh my God, my God, my God. Whenever you get an opportunity, I, I need you to research Azusa Street. And understand what happened on that day. Ah, it was a Pentecost explosion. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I believe that what's happening on June 5th in the house of God. I, I just do not believe that God is a God of coincidences. I believe that God is a God 
that he is intentional, that he is strategic, that God, when God assigns, when God assigns a people with a specific assignment, that God has a reason to assign a people with a specific assignment because God has chosen a people with a level of faith and obedience and God is going to show up and he's going to do some mighty things in the house of God that's going to have the ripple effects throughout the kingdom. Come on now. That's right, y'all. It became a movement. It became a movement. It became a movement. What happened on Azusa Street literally became a movement. Glory to God. It wasn't a moment, but it was a movement. Glory to God. I said it wasn't a moment on Azusa Street, but it was a movement. And I want to go ahead and declare and decree, and I need your faith to connect with my faith, that what happened on Purpose Life on June 5th is not just going to be a moment, but it's going to be a movement. Hey, glory to God. Do I have any believers that's going to connect your faith with mine that what's going to happen on June 5th in the house of God is going to be, it's not just going to be a moment, but it's going to be a movement. My God, my God, my God. You got to understand what's happening here. You got to understand what's happening here. It is not just for the house of God, but God, he has designated the house. God, he had designated purpose life and said, glory to God, this is the place that I must show myself strong. This is the place that I have designated this place. Glory to God. And the whole earth will know that I am God. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. I said that this is going to be a movement. It's not going to be a moment, but this is going to be a movement. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that what's going to happen on June 5th is not going to be a moment, but it's going to be a movement. A movement where lives will forever be changed, where walls will fall, and not only in purpose life, but I'm believing that every church in the city, that every church that is around the world, will feel the effects. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Will feel the effects. What's going to happen on June 5th in the house of God? We are believing you, God, for the supernatural. Not just a mundane, but God, that you're going to blow our minds. That God is going to be unique. It's going to be unrehearsed. This is going to be something that have never been seen before. In the name of Jesus, this is a movement. Hey. Hey, hey, this is going to be a movement. If you understand anything, what happened on the day of Pentecost, it was not just a moment, but it was a movement. It was a movement. Glory to God. I declare and I create that this is going to be a movement. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is going to be a movement. This is going to be a movement. We got to go to Acts chapter 2. You know where I'm going. The God, God began to talk to me about let the people know that the upper room experience, that the upper room was not just, uh, that they, they did not just decide to go there because it was different, but they often gathered in the upper room. The people of God often gathered in the upper room. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And so what happened on the day of Pentecost, they were in the upper room praying. It is glory to God. It was what they what they were used to doing. That that was part of their culture to go in the upper room and pray. And so what happened on that day of Pentecost, they were in the upper room praying, and the Holy Spirit came down and filled them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, not just a moment, but this is a movement. This is a movement. This is a movement. This is a movement. Let me tell you what, let me tell you how, how you, how you have to discern that this is a movement. When you have people planning and scheduling, buying plane tickets and traveling from other states, other areas in this country to get to purpose life, you gotta know that it is not a moment, it's a movement. 
that we have people that are literally flying in, driving in, booking schedules and all of this working their schedules just to come in on the day of Pentecost for June 5th. This is not a moment. People do not just leave for a moment. People leave because they believe that this is going to be a movement. Hey! This is going to be a movement. It is going to be a movement. I feel that in my spirit. This is going to be a movement that is going to have the ripple effects. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 reads like this. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. This is going to be a movement. They were all together in one place. When the day of Pentecost came, listen to that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen to that. When a day of Pentecost came, when a day of Pentecost came, in other words, on the 50th day, when a day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. They were not scattered abroad, but they all came together in one place. And I believe and I declare and I decree that we're all come together in one place. God has designated the house of God, purpose life, as the place. As the place that we all are going to gather together in one place on one accord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible said that they were all together in one place. I need everyone on this live feed that has been in this prayer room, that has been that, that, that has been in this prayer room to be all to be in the in the one place, to be in the war, to be in the house of God on Sunday as we come together. Believe in God for the supernatural. For the supernatural. Glory to God for the supernatural that we all can come together. Glory to God. You got to come into the house of God with the mindset huh, that we're coming together on one accord. You have to come together. You have to come into the house of God with the mindset that I am on assignment. Huh. The women conference just passed about a couple weeks ago and the title of that conference was Understand the Assignment. Huh. Father, we understand the assignment huh, that June 5th we all all are on an assignment huh, to come into the house of God huh, on one accord, huh, coming together, huh, glory to God, hallelujah, that we have an assignment, huh, that God has given us an assignment, huh, God has given us our marching orders, huh, heaven has spoken, huh, and we must move, huh, glory to God, hallelujah. I said, heaven has spoken, huh? and we have to move. Huh? We have to be on one accord. Glory to God. The Bible said in Acts chapter 2, verse 1, when the day of Pentecost came, June 5th, 2022, is the day of Pentecost. We are just days away from the day of Pentecost. God has put, given us this commission 45 days ago to pray for for 50 days all the way up to the day of Pentecost. Why? Because God is up to something. Why? Because God is saying I'm looking for a people. Huh? Why? Because God said I'm looking for a remnant of folks huh, that understand. Huh? I'm looking for faith. Huh? I'm looking for faith. Huh? I'm looking for obedience. Huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, my God, my God, my God. We have to understand that June 5th is our appointed time. That June 5th is our assignment that we have to be there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said we have to be there. I said we have to be there. We must be there. We shall be there. Glory to God. There's no if, ands, or buts about it, but we have to be there. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray for everyone that's coming in. I pray for everyone that's flying in, driving in, booking their flights, whatever they're doing, oh God. I pray for safe travel. Father God, I pray for the house of God. I pray for those that are local, that are that are local here in this area. That Father God, as they come into the house of God. God, that you have designated at the airport that because you're about to take us to a new level and a new place in, in destiny. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus huh, that God, every distraction, huh, every strategy of the devil, huh, every assignment of the enemy, huh, every idea of the devil to try to call me in, to try to cause confusion and distraction, it is canceled. Huh, they will be in the house of God huh, on one accord huh, with like-mindedness, God, huh, that God, we are anticipating 
demonstrating a great move of God in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. This thing is going to happen. It's going to shake the heavens. It's going to shake the nations. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, this is going to shake the nations. It's going to shake the nations. It's, this is a movement. This is a movement. Hear what I'm about to tell you. Hear what I'm about to tell you. God has chosen us. Glory to God. But glory to God. But when God hit the house, everyone will know that God showed up. Everyone will know. Glory to God. What amazing things huh, that we have seen huh, today huh, in the presence of God. Huh, that God is going to show up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That house of God. Huh? Purpose life huh? is the place huh? but which God has chosen huh? and designated a people huh? to pray, huh? not just for the people connected to purpose life, huh? but God, we're praying for the nations. Huh? We're praying for every church. Huh? We're praying for every pastor. Huh? We're praying for every leader. Huh? That Father God, in the name of Jesus, huh? that God, you have chosen the house of God. Huh? You have chosen purpose life huh? to show yourself strong through. Huh? That the glory huh? is going to hit the the house huh? and it's going to have the ripple effects. Huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray huh, that lost family members huh, will come home. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Glory to God. I'm talking about households will be saved. Huh? I declare and I decree households will be saved. Huh? Household will be saved. Huh? The mother, the father, the uh, the sons and the daughter household will be will be saved. Huh? I declare and I decree the whole unit family will be saved huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? That God, this is a turning point. Huh? This is a turning point in the kingdom. Huh? This is a turning point. Huh? This is not a moment. Huh? This is a movement. Huh? God, we have come this far by faith. Huh? We have come this far by faith. Huh? And oh God, I know huh, as a man of God huh, that you will not disappoint. Huh? That you will not disappoint. Huh? But you will show up huh, like you have declared it huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? We receive it now. Huh? Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey, the glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. Hey, I feel this. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. Eyes have not seen. Ear have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of a man. The thing that God has in store for us. The thing that God has prepared for us. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. Hey. Hey, I said the glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. Sarge, I feel this in my spirit. I feel the glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. I feel this. I feel the glory of the Lord is coming. Hey. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. The glory is coming. Put that as a bold declaration of faith. That the glory is coming. The glory is coming. Hey, the glory is coming. The glory is coming. Coming. You better buckle up because God is about to take us higher. You better buckle up because God is about to take us higher. Hey. Hey. This time next year, purpose life would not look like the purpose life of 2022. I declare and I decree that. I prophesy that over the house of God. This time next year, purpose life would not look like the purpose life of 2022. God is about to turn this thing. He's about to flip it upside down. And I feel, I feel this. I feel this. That people from every nation and every tongue will come and experience the movement the movement hey hey 
hey, hey, glory to God, glory to God. It is not coincident that Purpose Life is located where he is located. It is not coincident that Purpose Life is situated where it is situated on the property that it sits on, on the location that it sits on. It is strategic, it is strategy, it is the wisdom of God. God said everybody that passed the house that they're going to feel the glory. God said everybody that passed the house that they're going to feel that they're going to feel and they're going to be compelled to pull in and say what must we do to be saved? Hey, hey God, hey God, hey God. I say the Holy Spirit of God is going to compel them to pull in and say what is different about this place. The Holy Spirit of God is going to compel them. The Bible said compel them to come. The Bible says Simeon, he was compelled to carry the cross with Jesus. He was compelled. And I hear the word of God say compel them to come. The glory Glory is going to compel them to come and say, what is this movement about? What is the talk is about? We've heard about this place. What is really going on? And I hear the Spirit of God say that the people are going to pass by. They're going to turn around and come into the house of God and be saved and set free. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's no coincidence that Purpose Life is located where it is located. It is no coincidence. There is no coincidence in God. Hey, God said you can't pass this. God said you won't be able to pass this up. God said you won't be able to pass this up. God said you will, you will not be able to pass this up. Huh? They will not be able to pass this up. Huh? Because when everybody gets filled, huh? when God show up in your life, huh? it's going to be so good. Like David said, huh? oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Huh? That you're going to go out and let them know. Huh? No, come see a man. Huh? Come see a man huh? that have told me everything about me. Huh? You can't pass it up. Huh? You can't pass it up. Huh? Say glory to God. Yes. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. There have been people that have passed up purpose life and they have been curious. They have been wondering. They have been thinking, do I need to go there? They have been planning, but the enemy has been stopping them. And for everybody that passed it up, and I hear the Spirit of God say that he's going to move on their heart and they're going to make that bold faith and they're going to turn on in that parking lot and they're going to come in and feel the glory. Hey, hey, glory to God, glory to God. It's no coincidence, it is no coincidence. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Do you know how many people pass that church every day? Do you know how many people literally pass Purpose Life every day? You have to pass it. There's no other way around it. You have to pass it. You just got to pass it. It is centrally located. You have to pass it to every soldier, every family member, everybody. They got to pass it and they have to pass the glory. They're going to be compelled to pull in and say, what is this talk about? The movement, the movement. Movement, hey. God is up to something. God is up to something. God is up to something. Hey, Robocosheriba. God is up to something. God is up to something. Hear me, purpose life. I want everybody on this live feed to hear what I'm telling you. God is up to something. And he has chosen this location. He has chosen these people to show himself strong through. He is up to something. Hey. Glory to God. God is up to something. I feel it. I feel it. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen on Pentecost Sunday. I, I feel it. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and it reads, Hey, 
when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house. The Bible said that it filled the whole house. The Bible said that it filled the whole house. Hey. The whole house. That means it filled every room, every chamber, every nook and cranny of the house. And I just prophesy that and I just speak that over purpose life that the Holy Spirit of God will come in and fill the whole house. The children's ministry, the audio ministry, the, the, the cafe, the parking lot lot ministry the whole house the audio booth the whole house up every aspect of the house of God that the Holy Spirit is gonna come in and fill the whole house hey the whole house hey the whole house if you in there you better get ready hey my God my God I'm excited hey the whole house the whole house. Hey. Hey. You need to invite people. You need to let someone know that June 5th is going to be a day of Pentecost and it's going to be a Holy Ghost explosion. It is going to be a movement. It's going to be something that we have never experienced before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word is going to be hallelujah the word is going to be rhema it's going to be fire the experience is going to be fire i'm talking about the word i'm talking about the worship i'm talking about the encounter i'm talking about everything i'm talking about from beginning to end there in glory to god there are not going to be any delays Woo! did you hear what i just said I said, there will not be any delays. There will not be any delays. There will not be any layovers. There will not be any delays. There will not be any layovers. That God is going to come in and God is going to lift us up immediately. Hey. Hey. It's not going to be any delays. It's not going to be layovers. Everybody going to be in the right place. Praying and seeking the face of God. And God's going to show up. And God's going to do what he do. I'm talking about from the preach word. From the worship service. I'm talking about every aspect of it. Glory to God. I even pray that even in the children's ministry. We may have to bring them on over. And let the kids experience the glory of God. Hey! 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 You better come in hungry. You better come in thirsty. Hey! I'm telling you, you better come in empty. You better come in empty. You better come in hungry and thirsty and ready. You better come in hungry. Hey! You better come in playing games. You better not come in talking about who's here, who's not here, where they at, why they didn't show up. I don't know. No, no, no. We did not come to see who's not in the room. We came because we know who will be, who will be in the room. Hey. On one accord. On one accord. The Bible said, I'm in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. And it says, and in verse number 2 it says, suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind suddenly it's gonna happen suddenly hey glory to God hallelujah and they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them and they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on them. In other words, that the Holy Spirit came down like a mighty Russian wind. And they saw what they appeared to be tongues of fire. They saw flames of fire. And, and the flames of fire came. 
and they separated and they sat on each of them the flames of fire representing the Pentecost Sunday representing the Holy Spirit come in and I declare and I decree um, that the Holy Spirit of God will come in um, and, and be glory to God and sit on each of us um, separately um, according to the needs according to how empty we are um, that the Holy Spirit will fill us to our own capacity Oh my God, did you hear what I just said? I said that the Holy Spirit of God will come in and fill each of us huh, to, a, to our own capacity. Glory to God. To how empty you are. Huh? Glory to God. You hear what I'm about to tell you? How empty you are. If you come in completely empty, huh, the Holy Spirit will fill you all the way up to the top. Huh? So you that's why we're fasting on, on Saturday. Huh? Because we're sacrificing. Huh? We're consecrating ourselves. Huh? Because this is the week. This is the time. This is the time that heaven is ready. Heaven is prepared. Heaven is ready to release. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. All of them. Not some of them, but all of them. All of them. Why? Because all of them was on one accord. All of them had like-mindedness. All of them. All of them. All of them. Not some of them, but all of them. And that is my prayer in the name of Jesus. That for everyone that has been in this war room, that's been connected to this war room, I pray in the name of Jesus that every last one of you huh, would experience God in a way huh, that you've never experienced him before huh, in the name of Jesus huh, that you can't even explain it with words huh, but you know you encounter God in the name of Jesus all of them huh, the Bible said all of them were filled huh, all of them huh, all of them huh, all of them, huh? all of them, huh? and I prophesy that, huh? and I speak that over your life, huh? and I speak that over your life, huh? that God, huh? that he's going to honor our faithfulness, huh? that God, huh? he's going to honor our faithfulness, huh? that God, huh? he's going to honor our faithfulness, hey, 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 hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. <clears throat> That God is going to honor our faithfulness. Even the kids. Even the kids. Even the kids. All of them. Hey. 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 We serve a God that is faithful. Huh? I said we serve a God that is faithful. Hey. 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 Glory to God. Hey. Proverbs 28 and 20 reads like this. Proverbs 28 and 20. Write this down for your study. It says a faithful man will abound with blessings. Hey. A faithful man will abound with blessings. And I speak that and I prophesy that over your life. That you shall be abounding with blessings. Blessings upon blessings. Glory to God. Up is the only option. Glory to God. That you shall abound with blessings upon blessings. In the name of Jesus. A faithful man. A faithful man. Glory to God. Will abound with blessing. A faithful man. Hey. To everyone that's been faithful. I declare and I decree the word of God over your life. That you shall abound with blessings. Many blessings. Many blessings. Hey. You better receive that. You better receive that. You better receive that. Hey. Hey. Up is the only option. I said up is the only option. Hey. 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 Hey, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, hear what I'm telling you, hear what I'm telling you, God is saying, 
I look at the heart. God is saying, I look at the heart. I'm looking at the heart. God is saying, I'm looking at the heart. The eyes of the Lord roam to and fro, seeking whom he may show himself strong through. And I believe that the eyes of the Lord has been parked, has been looking at purpose life for a long, long time. I believe favor is on the house of God. I believe that the glory of God has always dwelled there. And I believe that God is about to show himself strong through the house of God, through the people of God. I believe it in Jesus' name. We are we are just days away. So this week, we are going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. This week, we are going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. Getting our mindset ready. Getting our spirit in the right posture. Because we are believing for the Holy Spirit of God. Hey. God sees the heart. God sees the heart. God sees the heart. Hey. I say God sees the heart. Hey. Hey. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the week. This is the week. This is the week. Can you imagine with me, if you will, that this is the week over 2,000 years ago that the disciples, huh, that Jesus had this ascended into heaven and the disciples, the apostles, if you will, they were anxiously waiting for the Holy Spirit. They were waiting for the gift. And I believe, Leo, that they were feeling like we are feeling. That they were anticipating it. Hey. And in a spirit that they were hearing what Jesus was saying. Jesus said, wait on, the, wait on the Holy Spirit. Wait on the Holy Spirit. We read that text last week when Jesus told the disciples to wait for the gift that God promised them. And I believe that they were, that they had a spirit of expectation. That they were anticipating. That they were anxious. Glory to God. That they were, glory to God. Hallelujah. That they were waiting. That they were that they were anticipating. I believe that they were like, when is, <clears throat> when is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? Hear what I'm about to tell you. Hear what I'm about to tell you. When we read that scripture last week, when Jesus told his disciples to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit to come that the Father had promised, did Jesus give them a daytime and stamp? Did Jesus tell his disciples? That on Pentecost, the Holy Spirit is going to come. Did Jesus said in 10 days it's going to come? No, he didn't. He did not tell them that. I want you to show me in the scripture what Jesus showed the disciples. Okay, what Jesus told his disciples that the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you on the day of Pentecost in 10 days. He did not tell them that. Why didn't he tell them that? Because Jesus said, the reason why Jesus did not tell them that it's going to come and hit you in 10 days. Because Jesus said, I need you to be found faithful. Hey, because you don't know when it's coming. And I need you to be found faithful. I need you to be found faithful. Glory to God. I need you to be found faithful. So I'm not going to tell you when it's coming. But I know that it is coming. But I need you to be found faithful. And what are you talking about, Pastor? I don't know what time or day that the Pentecost, that the Holy Spirit is going to come in the house of God. I don't know if it's going to come in at 11. I don't know if it's going to come in at 10. But all I know is that it's going to come in the house of God on the day that we're all together on one accord. Because God, he said, I need you to be found faithful. I need you to be found faithful. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is saying, it took you 45 days. It took you 50 days to be in my presence. And so I got to show up. I'm going to show up. Hey. I don't know if it's going to happen at 11.15. I don't know if it's going to happen during a worship service. I don't know if it's going to happen, happen during the, the preach word. But what I do know as a man of God, that it is going to happen. It is going to happen. 
All I do know is that God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he shall repent. That God is not slack concerning his promises toward us. All I know is that June 5th, that God is going to show up in a supernatural way. Get ready, people of God. It's going to happen. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He did not tell them to go in the upper room and pray. He just said, wait. Wait. There is power in the waiting. Oh. 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 Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There is power in the waiting. There is power in the waiting. Hey. There is power in the waiting. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For some of us, it took us a long time to get to this point. We have been waiting for a mighty move of God for a long time. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. There is power in the waiting. They are in that upper room praying. The Bible says, watch this now. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues. As the Spirit enabled them, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is going to enable you to speak into other tongues. The heavenly language. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said the heavenly language. Hey. The heavenly language. Glory to God. Hey. Glory to God. The heavenly language. Hey. My God, my God, my God. They're all speaking in other tongues. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is going to do it. I said, God is going to do it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The upper room, the upper room. The upper room. Glory to God. Blessings to you, Randy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Listen to this. When I talk, when I talk to you about that there were upper rooms, that it was not, it was nothing strange about the disciples or the apostles going into the upper room. They always went into the upper room to pray. They always went into the upper room. Go with me to Mark chapter 14, verse 15. And he said, and he himself will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Oh my God, hallelujah. Mark chapter 14, verse 15. And he will show you a large upper room that is right and is ready, that is furnished and and ready prepare for us there Jesus is telling his disciples we read this a few weeks ago about Jesus sends his disciples to find this man that was carrying a jar of water and the man that is carrying a jar of water Jesus said that is the man that's going to show you a large upper room that is fully furnished and ready prepare for us there listen to me the house of God on June 5th it's going to be prepared and ready for a God encounter. Oh my God. I said the house of God on June 5th is going to be prepared and ready for a God encounter. My question to us, will we be ready to encounter God? I need somebody to put in those comments, I'm ready God. Hey, I'm ready God. Hey, the house is ready. And I'm ready for an encounter with God. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for an encounter with God. The house is ready. But God, I'm, I want you to know that I'm ready. Eh, 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree, God, that we are ready to have an encounter with you. Blow our minds, oh God. Do something unique, oh God. Do something unorthodox. Do something, oh God, peculiar. Do something, God, that is unusual. Do something in the house of God. That, God, that we are ready. We are ready. To, we are ready for the encounter. We are ready for the encounter. In the name of Jesus, I am ready, God. I'm ready, God. I'm ready, God. Hey. 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 Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you by the Spirit of God. This Sunday, this Sunday. Would not be the, this Sunday. This Sunday would not be like any other Sunday. I'm here to tell you that. I feel that this Sunday would not be like any other Sunday. I'm here to tell you this Sunday is going to be life changing. It's going to be glory to God. I I I I feel that. Hey, glory to God. It's not going to be like any other Sunday. Hey. Hey, hey, we have been in this room. We have been in this room. We have been in this room praying, believing. Father God, honor our sacrifice. God is going to honor our sacrifice. Hey, God is going to honor our sacrifice. Do you hear me? I said, God is going to honor our sacrifice. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 ah. oh, my, 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 ah. hey, 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 God is going to honor our sacrifice. Hey, I believe that. I believe that. Hey, I believe that. I believe that God is going to honor our sacrifice. God is going to honor our sacrifice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every word that he has spoken. Glory to God. Get ready for that. Glory to God. Get ready for that, the word that he has spoken over our lives to begin to manifest. Oh, I feel that. 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 Hallelujah. Get ready, Leo. Get ready, sir. The word that God has spoken over your life is about to be manifested. Get ready. From Sunday on, from Pentecost Sunday, God is going to show up in your life in supernatural ways. Hey, my God. My God. Hallelujah. Hey, get ready. Get ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, get ready. Hey, my, 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 my. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and send them those hearts to heaven for that word. For that man of faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Purpose. Power. Promise. Purpose. Power. Promise. Ah. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. That God, He is transitioning us from purpose to the power to promise. Hey, my God, my God. There are people in this life, Eve, that you have been praying and you have been believing God that God will show Himself strong. You have been having moments after moment after moment. But I hear the Spirit of God say, Purpose, power, promise. Hey! Purpose, power, promise. Hey! My God, my God, my God. Purpose, power, promise. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hey! Purpose, power, promise. Hey! That we glory to God. That God is saying I'm that I'm taking you from purpose to power to promise. Purpose, power to promise. I have given you your purpose. I'm going to endow you with power. And I'm going to transition you to your promise. Purpose, power, promise. Hey. Hey, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, purpose, power, promise, hey, God said you have your purpose, I'm going to endow you with power, and I'm going to transition you to your promise, purpose, power, Promise, hey! Uh, I need you to put that in there. It is put it in those comments. Glory to God. Purpose, hey! Power, promise, hey! Hey! Oh my God! My God! My God! Glory to God, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Hey, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hey, I don't know, but somebody is about to roll over into power. Hey, I feel this for somebody on this live feed. That God is going to endow you with supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. Hey. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, Romans 15 and 19. Romans 15 and 19 reads like this. You better write this one down. Romans 15 and 19 reads, Through mighty signs and wonder, by the power of the Spirit of God. Hey, through mighty signs and wonder. Glory to God. There it is. By the, mighty, by the power of the Spirit of God. Signs and wonders only happen through the power of the Spirit of God. Signs and wonder will only happen through the power of the Spirit of God. Signs and wonder is right there in the word Romans 15 and 19 says, through the mighty signs and wonder by the power of the Spirit of God. Signs and wonder can only happen by the power of the Spirit of God. Signs and wonders cannot be manipulated. They cannot be orchestrated. They cannot be done by man. I'm talking about only God can do this. How many of you How many of you got some things that only God can do it? Glory to God. You can't manipulate it. You can't buy it. You can't orchestrate it. But only God can do it. <clears throat> only God can do it. Only God can do it. Hey. And I don't know about you, but I want to be where God is at. I want to be where the power is at. I want to be where God is at. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. 
Only God can do it. It's not going to be manipulated. It's not going to be uh, 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 orchestrated by man. Only God can do can do this. Hey, I want to be where He is. I want to be where the power of God is. I want to be where He is. I don't want to be in a place where it's so lethargic, so protocol minded, so uh, 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 have so many rules. And, 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 and religion has set in and, and all of these things I want to be where the power of God is hey, and listen to what I'm about to tell you don't ever discount what God shows himself up at I'm going to say that again don't ever discount the place the people that God will show himself strong through a lot of people got this misconception that God can only show up in mega buildings. Oh, I'm about to help somebody with this one. <clears throat> a lot of people got this misconception that the power of God can only show up in a mega building. That the power of God can only show up in mega churches. That the power of God can show up. No, 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 no. God can show up wherever he wants to show up. God can show up where the heart is hungry. God will show up where the heart is hungry at. God will show up where the thirsty people are. Glory to God. You can have a big, you can have a, a mega building, but you're not thirsty. You can have a mega building. And I'm not knocking no mega ministry. Please don't. There are some awesome mega churches out there. Please don't, don't take this the wrong way. There are some awesome mega churches out there. And the power of God hit them churches. But God do not only just choose those churches to show up. God is looking for hungry hearts. God is looking for thirsty people. God is looking for faithful people. Hear what I'm telling you. If God's going to show up in purpose life. Because we hungry, we're thirsty, and we've been in this room for the last 50 days, and God's going to show up. Hey! <clears throat> hey! <clears throat> hey! I don't know about you, but I'm looking for the glory. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting on the glory. Hey! Hey, I want the glory. I want God's glory. I don't know about you, but I want his glory. I want his glory. Hey, hey. Hey, God. Hey, God. I want his glory. I want his glory. Hey. Glory. Hey. Hey, I want to be where the glory is. I want to be where the glory is. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we are chasing after you. God, we are chasing after you. God, we are thirsty for more. God, we are thirsty for more. Hey, God, we are thirsty for more. We are chasing after you. We want more of your glory. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 3. Write this scripture down. Proverbs 3 and 27 reads like this yeah glory to God hallelujah glory to God hallelujah go to Proverbs 3 Yee. go to Proverbs 3 and it reads like this do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. And this is what we're praying that God, that he's not going to withhold anything that is due to us. Just like God is telling us, do not withhold any good thing from others when, when it is in our power to act and show them good. 
I'm believing this word right here for us that God he is not going to withhold any good thing from us that this is our due season for God to manifest that he is going to pour out blessings he is going to pour out miracles this is our due season this is our appointed time this is our due season this is our appointed time hey First lady, this is your due season. Woo! Woo! This is your due season. This is your due season. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I hear the Spirit of God say concerning you, First Lady, that over the next 90 days, over the next 90 days, over the next 90 days, it is the 90 days that God has said, I'm going to show you, that God has said, I'm going to show you, that God has said, I'm going to show you something that you've been praying for over the next 90 days. Glory to God. I don't know, but there's something that you have been seeking God for to show up over the next 90 days. And God said it's going to it's gonna happen. It's going to show up. It's going to happen in the name of Jesus. Hey, God. This is your due season. This is your due season. I feel this. Hey, this is your due season. I don't know what you've been praying for. I don't know what you've been secretly seeking God for. But God said over the next 90 days, there is some type of transformation. There is some type of transition. There is some type of shifting that's going to happen. Glory to God. In your life, God said it is good you have prayed for it. You have believed me for it. And it shall be as I have declared it over the next 90 days. Hey. Due season. This is your due season. This is your due season. Due season. Due. Due season. Hey. Hey. I don't even know what it is. I don't. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There it is. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. There it is. There it is right there. There it is right there. That right there. That right there, First Lady. That right there. The Holy Spirit has shown me that right there. That right there. That, my God. Woo! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, 90 days. Over the next 90 days, it's gonna be it's gonna be a transformation. It's gonna be some it's gonna be a shift. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! There it is, right there. There it is, right there. Hallelujah. There it is right there, first lady. Over the next 90 days. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Over the next 90 days. That right there. That right there. That right there you've been praying for. Watch God move on it. Watch God hand. Woo! 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 God is going to do it. Woo! Come on, send up those hearts to heaven. Woo! God is going to do it. God is going to do it. Yes, He is. God's going to do it. Yes. It's your due season. Let me give you understanding what a due season is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Let me give you an understanding. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Glory to God. It's your season. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Galatians 6 and 9 read like this. Let us not become weary in, in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. That is your due season. Let us not become weary in, good, in doing good, for in, at the proper time we will reap a harvest 
if we do not give up. You haven't given up? King James read it like this. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap. Let me tell you what a due season is. A due season only happens when you planted a seed during a time that your faith told you to plant something in an area that you thought was dry. Have you ever planted a seed in a dry season but your faith told you to plant it in a dry season? What are you talking about? Your faith told you to pray for something when it looked impossible for it to happen. Your faith told you to believe God for something when it seems impossible. But you stepped out on faith anyway and you sowed and prayed concerning something that looked impossible to come to pass. When you, when you plant into a season when it looked dry and empty you thought that you were just being obedient but God was God was telling you that that seed you planted in dry ground had a date time and step on it first lady I hear the God the Spirit of God say in 90 days what you planted in the dry season because your faith believed in the dry season you say, God, I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to sow a seed in it anyway. God told me to tell you that due season is now. It is now. It is now. It is now. Over the next 90 days, I prophesy that to you as a prophet of God. That over the next 90 days, you're going to see a transformation in that thing you planted. Hey! Hey, 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 yes, 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 yes. You planted seeds with not even expecting a return. That's what you did. Woo! 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 You planted a seed out of obedience. Woo! Woo! But let me tell you something. God was keeping the record book. Hey! I said God was keeping the record book. Oh my God. I got it. Oh my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. This thing is all over me. Hey! Come on, let's bless God. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 My God, my God, my God. My God, my God. I got to show you this in the word. I got to show you this in the word. That God, God, he checked the record. God, he wrote it in the record book. I'm about to show you something in the word. Go with me to Esther chapter 6. Go with me to Esther, Esther chapter 6. Hey. Go with me to Esther chapter 6. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Mordecai honored Esther chapter 6 verse 1. That night the king could not sleep. So he ordered the book of the chronicles, the records of his reign, to be brought in and to read to him. Listen to me. Listen to me. The king could not sleep. Because he wanted to bless Mordecai. So he told his servants to bring him the record books. Hey! He told his servants. 
to bring him the record books. So he ordered the book of the Chronicles, the record of his reign. In other words, he said, bring me the record books. And they brought him the record books to the king and they read it to him. And it was found recorded there that Mordecai had exposed some things happened in the kingdom. Two of the king officers who got at the doorway who had conspired to assassinate king. And so Mordecai exposed it. So the king, who glory to God, hear what I'm telling you first lady. Hear what I'm telling you. Hear what I am telling you. The enemy, what the enemy meant for your bad. God is saying that seed you gave birth to shall be a king, shall be a priest, Glory to God. Hear what I'm telling you. God told me to tell you that he had checked the record books. And everybody that has given up, but you prayed. And you said, that's my seed. And I hear the Spirit of God say, that young man shall be a preacher of the gospel. That young man. Woo! Whoa! Oh, that is your promise seed. That is your promise seed. Hear what I'm telling you. The Bible said the king asked for the record books. God has asked for the record books on your behalf. And God said, show me where she sold when everybody doubted. Show me when she believed when everybody thought something different. But even when you was carrying him in your belly, people said something different. But you believed. And I hear the Spirit of God say that that young man shall be a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hey! Hey, over the next 90 days, God's going to hit his life. Over the next 90 days, God's going to hit his life. You better hear me. Over the next 90 days, God is going to honor your prayers. God is going to honor your prayers. God is going to honor your prayers. There is a unique, there is glory to God. You better hear me. Hey. God has asked for the record books concerning you, First Lady. God has asked for the record books concerning you. And God says, show me. In the record books. Oh, she believed then. She kept sowing seeds. She kept praying over them. Woo! I, I just, I, my God, I, I just feel this for you over the next 90 days. Over the next 90 days, over the next 90 days, over the next 90 days, hear the Spirit of God, the Word of God concerning you over the next 90 days. Woo! Hallelujah! Come on, let's bless God. Come on, let's bless God. It was found in the record books that Mordecai has exposed some things. It was found in the record books of heaven, First Lady, that you believed in seasons of doubt, that you believed in dry seasons, that you sowed in dry seasons, that you prayed in dry seasons. There was not an automatic return. You did not get an immediate return. You did not get an immediate harvest, but you kept on believing. You kept on believing. As a matter of fact, you even prayed <laughs> for something to happen over the next 90 days. God said it will. Woo! Come on, let's rejoice with her. Let's rejoice with her. Hey! <clears throat> Do you not know when heaven asks for the record books concerning you, God is about to move? Whenever heaven, whenever heaven bring the record books on your behalf and show them before God, God says, show me the record book. God has to move. God is about to move. Hey. Hey, you better hear me. You better hear me. Whenever heaven asks to have the record books open, on your behalf, God is about to move 
in a supernatural way. Hey! 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 Father, do it in the name of Jesus. Hey! What should be done for the man the king's delights to honor? Hey! You know what happened in this story, right? Ah. Uh, you know what happened in this story, right? Hey. They gave Mordecai a robe. And they put him on horseback. And Mordecai rode through the city streets. Hey. And the people proclaimed... This is what is done for the man the king delights to honor. God, the blessing that God has for you, everybody going to see it. God is going to put your blessing, first lady, on front street. Woo! You better hear me. I said God is going to put your blessing on front street. That everybody is going to see it. And they have no choice but to say this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. God is about to put your blessing on front street. Hey! Hey! And the people shall say, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Hey! You better receive it. Whenever God give you a front street blessing, that means the whole city is going to know about it. That means everybody is going to know about it. Hey! God is going to give you a front street blessing. Hey! My God, I feel that. Woo! 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 Hallelujah. A front street blessing. Hey, let me give you scripture for that because I know y'all love the word. The Bible said God shall do what? Prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. What is that? That is a front street blessing. <laughs> hey, a front street blessing, baby. Hey, a front street blessing. That everybody that ever conspired against you, everybody that prayed against you, God said, everybody that doubted you, God said, I'm about to give you a front street blessing. Woo! My God, my God, that's a word right there. Woo! Hey! Hey! Hey, 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 front street blessing, hallelujah, better put that in those comments, front street blessing, hey, 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 glory to God, hallelujah. Front Street Blessing. Put that in those comments. Hallelujah. That is a word right there. Woo! Father, do it in the name of Jesus as you have declared it. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Woo! And the beauty of this is no one no one can describe a front street blessing. All we know is that everybody's going to see this thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! And they're going to say, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. You shall reap if you faint not. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is going to be an amazing Pentecost Sunday. Hallelujah. Woo. Ephesians 3 and 20. We already know what that says. But let's read it. Woo. Oh my God. Ephesians 3 and 20. Let's go there. My God. My God. My God. And it reads like this. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. Above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, which is Christ Jesus. That God is going to do some things exceedingly and abundantly. Glory to God. Andre, I don't know if you coming down. I don't know where you located, sir, but wherever you are. But I just want to just declare this over your life. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You will never be the same, sir. You will never be the same. You will never, you will never, you will never be the same. You will never be the same. How you see God, how you experience God, how you encounter God, you will never be the same. You will never be the same. Your thinking, the mindset, the revelation, the insight. Glory to God. You here in Leesville, man of God, hear what I'm telling you. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. Hey. You will never be the same. Your understanding, the revelation, the insight of God's word, you will never be the same. You will never be the same. I declare that over your life. How you see God. How you experience God. You are my God. Woo! I'm talking about your prayer life is changing. I'm talking about how you worship God is changing. How you read the word changing. Everything is changing because God has introduced you to a whole new level. A whole new revelation of how to seek God. His face. Hey. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 If you're here in Leesville, you... You need to make plans to be in the house of God. Yee! June 5th. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Woo. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hey, 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 Woo. hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, come on, let's sit up those hearts to heaven, hey, you ready for the airport, I see that, Woo. Hey. Hey. Glory 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's go to this scripture real quick. Hallelujah. Got to give you some word. Go to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 5. Yee. Write that down. Write that down. Hebrew chapter 6 verse 5. Yeah. Go to verse number 4. Yeah. For it is impossible. Listen to this. For it is impossible. He, I'm in Hebrew chapter 6 verse number 4. Oh my God, this word. Oh my God. I'm reading out of the NIV. And it reads like this. For it is impossible for those who have who have been enlightened who have tasted the heavenly gift who have shared in the Holy Spirit who have tasted the goodness of the Lord of the Word of God and the powers of coming of age and who have it is impossible listen to me Woo! listen to me it is somebody put in somebody put in this in, in those comments it's impossible for me to go back put in those comments it's impossible for me to go back I cannot go back to my old ways. I cannot go back to my old ways of thinking. It is impossible for me to go back. I have been enlightened. I have tasted the word of God. I have tasted and see that God is good. It is impossible for me to go back. Hey. It's impossible for me to go back. Hey. That's right, James. It's impossible for me to go back. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's impossible. It's impossible. Hey. Glory to God. Hey. 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 It is impossible. Hey. It's impossible. It's impossible for me to go back. He's been too good to me. Hey, that's it, Monique. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that, Father God, we, we are not going back. It is impossible for us to go back to our old nature, our old mindset, our old ways of living, our old thinking, God. After you have exposed us to this level of anointing, after you have exposed us to this level of revelation, after you have exposed us to this war room experience, to this war room encounter. God, it is impossible. That's why we have declared that we will never be the same again. That's why we have declared that walls will fall in the name of Jesus. It is impossible for us to go back. We shall not return to our vomit, but we shall go forward and pursue the things of God. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey, Antoinette, it is impossible. It is impossible, Antoinette. It is impossible for you to go back. Absolutely impossible. After God has shown himself strong through, after God has spoken to you, after God has declared some things over your life, after you yourself feel something is stirring in your spirit, you feel it within yourself. You feel a newness. Huh? You feel a change. Hey. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hebrews 6 and 13. When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself. When God made his promise to Abraham, since how there was no one greater to swear by, God swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. We have been waiting patiently. And God has declared that we're going to receive 
what God has prophesied over our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 6 and 13 it says, When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself. Hey, saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. Oh my God, oh my God. Waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. We have been waiting patiently in this war room. Some of us, we have been waiting patiently for years. But this is a declarative word. Hey. This is a declarative word from heaven. That God is going to release the promise. That he has spoken over our lives. In Jesus name. I declare it and I decree. That every promise. That every prophesy. That every word that has been spoken over your life. Shall come to pass. Because we have been waiting patiently. Some of us have been waiting for years and years and years. But I hear the spirit of God say. Your promise is coming. Your promise is coming. Yay. You better receive it. You better receive it. You better receive it. Hey. You better receive it. You better receive it. Hey. You better receive it in the name of Jesus. You better receive it. You better receive it. Glory to God. You better receive it. Hey. Hey. Shoo. Oh. My God, my God. My God, my God. Uh, oh, because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what was promised. He confirmed it with an oath. Hey. Uh, God did... God did this. I'm in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18. God did this so that by two unchangeable things which is impossible for God to do. It is impossible for God to lie. God made my God. That's in the word. God said it is impossible for God to lie. God cannot lie. It's impossible. You know why it's impossible? Because every time God speaks something, it becomes truth. Y'all miss that. Let me tell you why it's impossible for God to lie. God is the word. And whenever God speaks a word, it becomes true. Y'all, y'all miss that. Y'all miss that. Y'all miss that. Y'all miss that. When God speaks a word, that word is truth. Because God cannot lie. God is truth all in himself. Oh my God. God is truth. So God cannot lie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hear what I'm about to tell you. God can say the sky is yellow. And it's yellow. It turns because that's truth. Oh my God. God's word is truth. He is the word. And whenever God speak a word, that is truth. Ah. Because God did this by two unchanged, two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. It is impossible for God to lie. When God said that you the head, that's true. And not the tail, that's true. When God said no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that's true. When God say you're blessed in the city, you're blessed in the field, you're blessed in your going in, and you're blessed in your going out, that is true. God cannot lie. But what we get caught up in, our faith need to receive that as truth, and own that truth, and walk in that truth, and have the authority of the truth of God's word, 
glory to God. And that's how we're going to do exploits in this movement because we own truth, the word of God. Hey, you hear me? God cannot lie. He is the word. Go back to the book of Genesis. Whenever God said, let there be, it was what he said it was. <laughs> Whenever God said, let there be, that's right, own the truth and walk in it. But so many times we get caught up in, we analyze, we're so analytical, and we say, oh, is that true? Can that be? Did that, does God still do miracles? Um, it's Pentecost Sunday. I know we've been praying about this. All of these things. If you have any doubt, any doubt, any doubt, hear what I'm telling you. If you have any doubt at all, it would dispel the truth that you have heard. Faith comes in and said it is what God's word said it is. Oh my God. The man said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I still have some doubt. Oh, my God. I'm here to help somebody. I'm here to help somebody. The man said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. I still have some doubt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on now. Hear what I'm telling you. Jesus said this type of spirit can only be cast out by fasting and praying. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. If you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, that's why it is important that when we come in on June 5th and Pentecost Sunday, our faith is so strong and so intact that God has to show up. Come on now. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is truth. Whatever he speaks a word, it becomes what he has declared it to become. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, he is absolute in all of his ways. Whatever God speak a word, it is what he said it is. Hey, you better hear me. 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 We're going to go over that fasting tomorrow. We're going to talk about that. And some understanding is going to happen with that. God, he is lining this up. Glory to God. Hear me. That's right. One of course. We all understand why we need the Holy Spirit. We all understand have a teaching of the Holy Spirit. We all understand it. But God is going to give us some clarity and revelation. Hey. About worship. We understand worship. We got clarity of that. We, we got clarity of why we need the Holy Spirit. We get clarity of understanding the upper room. Why they, why they were in the upper room. It was not something they just sought to do. They did it anyway. It's like Sunday. We come to church anyway. They go to the upper room anyway. It's like coming to church on Sunday. For those of us that are that are committed to, to coming to church on Sunday, we do it anyway. But on this particular Sunday, on June 5th, God's going to show up in a supernatural way. Hear me. Hear me. God's going to show up in a supernatural way. <laughs> on this particular Sunday, like on the day of Pentecost, God's going to show up in a supernatural way. Hey. That's right. That's right. Mother Millie, that's why we are fasting. That's right. That's right. That's right. Build our faith. And we're going to talk about fasting tomorrow. Give clarity and revelation and praying concerning fasting. Because some of us don't have clarity of that. But the Holy Spirit is going to give us some understanding. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, the word of God said, because God, God, it is impossible. It is impossible for God to lie. Impossible. 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 If God said you healed, guess what? You healed. 
If God said you're the head, guess what? You're the head. But we have to own that. We have to own that. We have to own that. We are faith believers. We believe by faith. Come on now. Faith moves God. Faith is the currency in heaven. Uh, the Bible said without faith it is impossible to please God. Come on now. And it is impossible for God to lie. If God said you're the head, you're the head. Listen to this. If God said you are delivered, then you are delivered. Listen to this. We take our issue to God. And God said you're free. You're delivered of that. Then what is wrong? What is wrong? Is it possible for God to lie? If God said you're healed or you're delivered, but we walk away and we don't and we still dealing with the issue we're dealing with, what is wrong? What's going on? God didn't lie. God is not God that's lying. It's your faith to believe what God spoke over your life. So you gotta own that. If God said you delivered of drugs, you delivered. But our faith gotta connect with the truth and own it. Hey, come on now. Come on now. If God said, oh my God. If God said you're the head, then you're the head. Why do we act like the tail? Because we haven't taken ownership of the fact that we are the head. You gotta own it. You gotta take ownership of God's word. Hey. Listen to me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray that our faith is so stirred, oh God, that when we hear things that seem impossible with our natural ear, that, Father God, our spiritual ears will hear it and our belly will leap and the spirit man inside of us will leap because we have received that word in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that God, that June 5th, that we, are, we have been believing for a Holy Ghost move of God on June 5th. And God, I believe your word. I believe your word. I receive your word in the name of Jesus. And it shall be as you have declared it. You have declared it. That this is not a moment, but a movement. And so God, we take hold of your word that this is a movement. We take ownership of that. We're going to walk in the house of God on June 5th like it's already done. Like the movement has already begun. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hear what God just dropped in my spirit. The Holy Spirit of God dropped this in my spirit. He said, Jeff, the movement began 45 days ago. We are already in the movement. And the Holy Spirit told me to tell you that on day of Pentecost, that is going to be the climax um, to, by which we have been in this room Woo! are y'all hearing me the Holy Spirit that dropped this in my spirit that we have already started the movement huh? we have already started the movement huh? but on the day of Pentecost it is going to be the climax to the movement huh? that God is going to take us to destinations and heights unknown huh? this is a movement in itself how many of you can testify to that? That this war room is a movement in itself. We got people from all over in this war room. Hey. That the movement has already started. The Holy Spirit just dropped that in my spirit. The movement has already started. June 5th is just going to be the climax to the movement. The movement has already started. Hey. The movement has already started. Hey. This is a movement. This war room is a movement. And so that's why a lot of us is asking the question, God, what are we going to do after the 50 days? Because when that movement happens, it's going to continue to flow. And that's why we're asking the question. That's why we're praying and seeking God. Say, God, what do we do after this? Because we all feel that this is a movement. There's something unique about this war room. There's something that you cannot explain in this war room. And people from all over are in this war room. Hey. Glory. 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 
Glory. How many of you can testify? I can testify that this is a movement in itself. This war room is a movement. Hey, we be in church on Sundays talking about this war room. We be on feet and talk about this war room. I mean, you got couples talking about this war room. You got people calling, talking about this war room. You got people texting about this war room. You got people inviting everybody else into this war room. You know why? Because it's a movement. It's a movement. I don't care who you are. This is a movement. This war room is a movement. It has been birthed out of obedience. This war room has been birthed out of obedience. God gave us this 45 days ago and this has become a movement. What we thought was just going to be just, okay, we're going to be in here praying, but the Holy Spirit grabbed a hold of this war room and I'm here to tell you that it has exploded. Hey, I can testify. I can testify. Woo! This is a movement. That's right, Monique. This is a movement. An explosion. That's right, Jane. I don't care who you are. I don't care what I, I'm here to tell you. You cannot resist the Holy Spirit of God. If you have any indication, any inkling, any discernment, any 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 idea of a move of God, you have to be a part of it. If you have a relationship, if you are born again, I'm here to tell you that even a sinner can see that there is something unique about this war room. I'm here to tell you. A sinner can tell you who's real and who's phony. A sinner man. I mean, I'm just here to tell you. A sinner can tell when God when a sinner can tell when there is genuine anointing and the presence of God. Hey, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you this is a movement. This war room is a movement. Glory to God. This war room is a movement. So that's why a lot of us is praying and saying, Lord, what are we gonna do after this? When June 5th hits and we have the experience we having, what are we going to do after this? What are we going to do after this? What are, don't worry, God has something. Hear me. Hear me. God has something. We going to, woo. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We went from, we went from what, we, what we thought was going to be just a prayer room. God used it for so much more. The word of God comes. The word of knowledge. The word of prophecy. God give us teachings in this war room. God edifies. and he, that's, that's the Holy Spirit, people. We get teachings in this war room. We get clarity and revelation in this war room. How many of you can testify that God has taught you some things, that some clarity and revelation has come? We get teachings in this war room. We pray in this war room. The word of knowledge come in this war room. The, the spirit of prophecy come in this war room. God, he's in this war room. There is something about this war room that God, he had put his finger on it. The handprint of God is on this war room. I'm here to tell you. Hey, hey, I'm here to tell you, Woo. the handprint of God is on this war room, hallelujah, Woo. glory to God, hallelujah, that we all are growing, learning, that we are ingesting and digesting this this food. Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I've seen growth. Uh, I've seen fruit. I've seen growth. Hey. Hey, I've seen growth. I've seen fruit in the lives of God's people. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. That the hand of the Lord is upon this place. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. 2 Kings 3 and 15 reads like this. 2 Kings 3 and 15 reads like this. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came about when a minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. When David played that minstrel, when David played for Saul, hey, what, do you not know that that when real authentic worship, oh my God, Listen to this. Hallelujah. The Bible said this. That the minstrel came and he played. And the hand of the Lord came upon him. Hey. This is Elijah talking to Jehoshaphat. They're about to go to war. So Elijah. So they sought the prophet. And the prophet said bring me a minstrel. In other words the prophet understood this. The prophet understood this. Jehoshaphat was about to go to war. And so they sought the man of God, Elijah. And Elijah said, bring me a minstrel. In other words, and a minstrel began to pray. And the hand of the Lord came upon the prophet. In other words, the atmosphere had to be conducive that God can come in and speak. The atmosphere had to be conducive for the, for the hand of God, for the voice of God, for the spirit of God to come in and speak. Hear what I'm telling you. On June 5th, the atmosphere must be conducive for the voice of God to come in and speak. That's why in this war room that the word of God is so rich. It is so heavy. It is so relevant because the atmosphere, it is right for the voice of God to come in and speak. Before you go out and do what God has called you to do, Jehoshaphat said, I need to seek a prophet. And Elijah came in and said, bring forth the minstrel. And the minstrel began to pray. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah gave Jehoshaphat some direction. Understand what I'm telling you here. That the hand of the Lord is on this war room. Because the people of God is so thirsty. And God is speaking in this war room. And on June 5th, the hand of the Lord is going to, the, the hand of the Lord is on purpose life. And God is going to speak to his people. I declare it in Jesus name. Hey, listen to this. Listen to this. Hey, the word of God said, Elijah said, bring me a minstrel. Uh, and a minstrel played. And the hand of the Lord came upon him. I am, I am in 2 Kings 3 and 15. But now bring me a minstrel. In other words, bring me someone that knows how to play. And invite the presence of the Lord in. Elijah understood that the atmosphere have to be just right for God to show up. I said the atmosphere have to be just right for God to show up. So Elijah said this here, bring, bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when a minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, thus said the Lord God. Yay! Thus said the Lord thy God. That June 5th is going to be an amazing day. Listen to me. Listen to me, people of God. The prophet of God. Ask for a minstrel. That the atmosphere may be conducive for God to speak. I'm going to share this here and then we're going to go. The same anointing. The same oneness that we have in this war room. We need to have that on June 5th. The same mindset. The same accord. The one accord. Like-mindedness. Faith. 
to believe. And the atmosphere that we feel here is going to be maximized woo, on June 5th. Do you hear what I just said? The atmosphere that we feel here on June 5th is going to be maximized. Oh my God. That God, He's going to maximize the environment. That God, He, oh my God. That God, He is going to maximize the environment with His presence. Oh my God. Hear me, hear me. There is going to be words of knowledge. There's going to be prophetic flow. There is going to be some moves. There's going to be some miracles. There's going to be some healing taking place. We have to carry this over on June 5th. Fill the room. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Maximize the moment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Constant, the anointing of God is on your life, woman of faith. Constant, Jonah, the anointing of God is on your life. My God, I don't know what you're going to bring forth, what you're going to, how you're going to minister and dance. But all I know, the anointing of God is heavy on your life. My God. Woo! My God. I am looking forward to this. My God, my God, my God. First lady and I, we was in the sanctuary today. My God, I'm here to tell you, it is, woo! It is going to be amazing. And we was talking about June 5th, first lady and I, we was in the sanctuary today. And we was talking about June 5th, we were talking about Pentecost Sunday. Man, I was just sitting there, I'm like, oh my God. It is going to be amazing. I just sat there and we was talking. I was like, man, this is going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. Woo, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Woo. Five more, five more days. Pentecost is here. This is the week. This is the time. That what we have been praying for, everything, for 45, this is the time. This is the week. This is the moment that we have been waiting for, for the movement that we have been captured in with this war room. It is going to be, woo! Fire Molio. Amazing. Amazing. Elder David, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to reach out to you, Elder. I'm going to reach out to you tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to reach out to you, Elder David, tomorrow about some things. But it is going to be amazing. The flow, the move, man. It's going to be life changing. I'm here to tell you, it's going to be life changing. It is going to be life changing. It's going to be life changing. It's going to be life changing. Hear me. It's going to be life changing. There are going to be, man, it's going to be powerful. It is going to be a powerful day in, in, in God's presence. When I tell you, I have, I have never felt this way on this level of, with the, my, my, I'm telling you, my, my expectation, my faith is, is way over my, I'm in overflow. I am in overflow faith right now, Stasia. I'm in overflow faith. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am in that type of faith right there. Woo. I'm in that overflow faith. Hey, that's it. Thank you, First Lady. I'm in an overflow faith. I'm in that level right there. Like, man. Woo! My God, my God. People, get ready. Get ready. Woo! Oh, my God. Walls will fall. Walls will fall. On June 5th, walls will fall in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! 
Father, we bless you. We honor you. I thank you, God, for each and every person that have been in this war room, that have been committed. Glory to God. Believing in the name of Jesus. Father God, for those that could not be faithful for 50 days, but they wanted to, God, but their schedules could not lie. Whatever the reason is, God, you know, God, we're praying for them as well. That, God, that they, we all come in on one accord. This is a significant kingdom day. Like Resurrection Sunday was a significant kingdom day. June 5th, Pentecost Sunday is another significant kingdom day. And, God, we will not come in with the same old mindset but we're going to come in with our faith at another level stirred up we're coming in on one accord high five it and say lord let's get it we're coming in and we're going to hop on this train we're going to get on that plane and we're going to go to new heights in the kingdom father god i believe it I believe that purpose life would never be the same. I believe that those that's going to visit would never be the same. I believe, God, that this is going to be a true intimate time that you have designed and have appointed for such a time as this. And, God, we are about to experience you on levels that we never have seen before. Father God, I thank you in advance for the miracles to take place, for the healings to take place. I thank you in advance for the salvation to take place. The loved one's going to come to the cross. I thank you in advance for marriages to be healed. Relationship to be restored. I thank you in advance for the harvest. Hey! Glory to God. There is a harvest coming to Purpose Life. That every seat will be filled. Glory to God. We're going to go to two services. Get ready, people of God. We're going to go to two services. The seats will be filled. We will have to shift. And it's going to come quickly. I feel this in my spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Father, we thank you now. That every seat is filled. That the laborers are in place. That the harvest is in the house. That everyone that needs, that, that's supposed to be on the wall. Will be on the wall. On the post doing what they're supposed to be doing on their assignment, God. Line upon line, precept upon precept, God. That June 5th, God, it will be done with excellence. It will be done with the spirit of excellence. In every area, God, I pray and I declare that the anointing of God is going to hit every area and the whole house shall be filled in the name of Jesus. I pray this, I declare this, I decree this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. Come on, you know what to do. Somebody, somebody, somebody shout amen. Hey. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. You better get there, get your seat. That's what you need to do. I'm here to tell you, y'all better invite people, invite someone, invite someone, invite someone. Blessings to you, Crystal Hayes. Blessings to you. Blessings to you, Monique. Walls will fall. Elder David, blessings to you. I'm going I'm to reach out to you tomorrow, sir. Uh, Andre, blessings to you. Walls will fall. It is so and so it is. Woo! When you invite people, you better let them know, hey, this is Pentecost Sunday. This is not a, a normal Sunday. So you better come on in with faith. Come in and get your seat. Buckle up. And get ready to take off. Hey. Walls will fall. Hey. Put in those comments before we get off. Walls will fall June 5th. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Walls will fall. Woo! Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Invite people out. <laughs> That's a good one, Monique. Hallelujah. Walls will fall on June 5th. Hallelujah. Blessings to you, Tamika. Antoinette, blessings to you. Constance, blessings. There's a lot more people online than what's putting in the chats. Blessing to you, Crystal Hayes. Walls will fall on June 5th. Thank you for agreeing with us. Believing with us. Thank you. I'm hallelujah, <laughs> right? I know, I know that may be true right there, Stodger, for real. I, I know, right? That right there may be true. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Walls will fall on June 5th. But people of God, it is time to sign out. Blessings to you guys. Thank you for being on this journey with us. Hallelujah. Continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Pray for First Lady. Pray for everyone that we will see this thing all the way and beyond. Love you guys. Hallelujah. Love you guys. Have a great night. And send out with a shout of love. Shout out of love and hugs to everyone. High five everyone. Blessings to everyone. Woo! Thank you for praying. For me, Andre. Have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Five mo, right? Five mo, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. K Love, what's up, Princess? Good. Good to see you on. Blessings to you as well. Praying over you. Hallelujah. Blessings to everyone. Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow, 7 p.m. God bless you. All right, bye-bye.